Awesome, and my name is Christopher Beth, and I want to welcome everybody here today. And there's so many new faces in this building. Uh, it's just exciting that uh, the Lord has given us this day. So, um, I'll tell you a little bit about what we do. Uh, this all started uh, on a trip that Savannah, my daughter, and I went on into the Amazon Basin in 2012. And uh, we went on a mission trip. I went as a dad, not as a missionary, right? Because I think we can all appreciate that, that I went to bring her home. And that was my only reason. And uh, I got to experience going into a home on a very remote part of the Amazon. It took us two days just to get to the home on a boat. And this lady asked me if I was thirsty. And I said, oh yeah, I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna tell you, I expected her to go to a refrigerator and get a bottle of Rosarca and hand it to me. And of course that didn't exist. I didn't know anything about a water crisis. I spent 35 years in the business world as a business consultant. I thought people's water came from either their tap or they went to the store and bought a bottle. And uh, so we were in this home in 2012 and I said I was thirsty. I watched this lady take two cups of water and she went outside, she dipped down and dipped a cup for me, dipped a two cup for my interpreter and handed them to me. And this is the first time I realized that people had to drink out of the river like this, out of unclean surface water. So I came home with this conviction on my heart, started researching um, opportunities to help these people. In the beginning, I thought it was gonna be just this humanitarian mission of just providing clean water. But then later on, we realized this is a great vehicle to be able to share our faith. Because um, uh, as, as what we know for a fact, people will not believe the words of your mouth until they feel the touch of your hand. So that touch of your hand becomes a connection point. And clean water is how we do this around the world. We connect with people, we build relationships with them, starting with the clean water. And then once we have that relationship, then we really tell them why we're there in the first place. And that's to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So what is the bucket ministry? We're a faith-based organization. That we use clean water to get the job done. We work in currently about 20 countries. Our biggest projects right now are in Kenya, and Panama, and Brazil. And we work in some places that are unimaginable that people have to live there. And this is happening right here in Rockwall, Texas. And all of you, since you're standing in this room now, you're part of this story. And just because you might not go on an airplane with us or jump on a boat with us and go with us, you will be there with us from this connection point from here on today. So I'd like to show you how the tool works that we use around the world. And I'm going to ask my friend Matt to demonstrate. It is a Sawyer uh, hollow filter membrane filter, and it works off simple gravity. And as you can tell, that is some uh, pretty nasty water that is in that bucket that came out of Lake Tawakini. Wow. And, um, you can see what the filter will produce. The filter will yield 350 to 500 gallons per day. It takes out all bacteria, all parasites, all protozoans, dirt, debris, and leaves you with clean, safe drinking water. And Matt, are you thirsty? Anybody thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. So um, the World Health Organization states that there's about 785 million people around the world that lack access to clean water. So to put that in perspective, the U.S. population is about 330 million. So more than twice the population of the United States doesn't have access to the things that was it, oh, one, that we take for granted every single day, and that's water. So that's what we do. That's what we do in the community is we invite people to join this story with us, to go on us with these trips, to help support us on these trips. It costs us about $50 to provide a family, and the families we serve are anywhere from six to 10 people. So it costs us $50 to provide a family with clean, safe drinking water for over 20 years. So, I mean, the investment is less than you can bring your family afford to Applebee's. And that gives them clean water, but more importantly, 
it gives us the opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them and to begin to disciple them and point them towards local like-minded churches in these areas where we work. So uh, that's kind of what we do. And uh, we do a lot of events throughout the year, but our biggest event is, um, we call it the big event. And Miss Dina back there in the back, you heard her say she runs the big event. And it's a gala fundraiser. And um, we'd like to invite each one of you to that. We've got cards over here that you can take to save the dates. It's November the 6th. And um, obviously we couldn't have one last year. I think a lot of you probably remember what happened last year, a little bit now. Um, but it's November the 6th. It's going to be, uh, we're gonna have Shane and Shane there, which are contemporary Christian recording artists. And we'll also, be fundraising to bring 10,000 families or about 100,000 individual people that live in this slum in Nairobi, Kenya, clean water in the gospel. So I uh, want to invite you all to that. I want to also um, welcome you to visit thebucketministry.org to get more information on what we do. One, two, three, him. <laughs> Come doing it? All right. Ready to cut? Cut on three? One, two, three.